Well, I couldn't fight the urge, so I picked this up at Walmart for $14, and I thought they had a whole bunch of them, but they only had one. The rest were some traditional knives that they put in the wrong spot. So, I'm not a huge fan of the handle design, but I do like the shape of the handle and the classic blade. So, um... Yeah, these are 5CR15MOV. That's for the large knife. The small one is 3CR13. So, uh, hmm. Yeah, these aren't made in America. These are made in China. This is the Buck 242 5CR 15 MOV steel, um, centered, deep carry clip, one position only, tip down. I like the thin frame lock, so uh, pass through design, but uh, I do like that thin frame lock. Um, I've grown in a day. <laughs> to like the design of the knife. I like the shape. Um, but for some reason I wasn't actually into this, but it's uh, not too bad actually. So, uh, that being said, it's a Chinese buck. Uh, it's got this weird little metal blob that looks like it's a factory defect, which is not a problem. Because this is basically a seven dollar knife if you divide the two knives that the, the combo set, so uh, probably will not get as much usage um, because I'm rotating my folders. But I will use it because I yet to have a knife. Well, yeah, for what I need, need knives for, you know. Like I said in other videos, I'm not killing food animals with this. I'm not chopping down trees, and I'm not. Uh, destroying uh, like anchoring rope. This is uh, your basic modern day 2021 tasks, boxes, plastic, paracord, twine, string, tape, some food. Obviously it's not a chef's knife, but yeah, so I'm very glad. The cheap steels are easy to sharpen. I am not a sharpening fan. And uh, I understand the need to sharpen, but I don't need a razor sharp knife. I feel like people's expectations need to be reeled in. Otherwise, they always get disappointed. And, uh, yeah, so that's the Buck 242. Uh, it's kind of funny. I thought this would be the 241 because it's bigger, but hey, whatever. So, thumb studs. Yeah, there you go.